giving you this information because people keep asking me, is it North Korea already? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I will tell you where is North Korean land, but at least on the way, there is some area you can see North Korea because our demarcation line is not a straight line. It's very ups and downs and jaggy. So there is area uh, kind of came down to south like this. So you can see this much area. Uh, because of that, we did use to have a lot of refugees and spies and zoom across down to south. Start to happen to Baba Francis. Francis. Yeah. Um, so why we end up having this demarcation line then? Why we end up being two very different countries now? But we used to be same people, same country. We look like each other. We use same language too. And then nowadays, it's hard to imagine uh, we used to be the same. Once we cross this line, we go over to North Korea. So we are in North Korea right now, and this is a rock car. They had a meeting here once that lasted 11 and a half hours. They called it the bladder war because no one was allowed to go to the toilet. Where it follows Comforts Road beside the building, where that is actually separated by a 17 by 5 inch concrete slab. Now if you look to the first gray building, silver or gray building you see to your right, you'll be able to see North Korea's recreational facility building. It's actually named this rather ironically for it houses no recreational equipment and is primarily used by North Korea to stage 10 to 20 armed soldiers inside where we conduct high level talks. Next to the recreation facility building is T3. T3 is used by the JPO, Colonel level and staff officer level talks. Next to T3 is T2 or the MAC building which we were previously in. Next to T2 is T1. T1 is used by the UNC for weekly meetings. And the last silver or gray building you see to your far left is the former Czech and Polish NNSC building, but it is no longer in use. If you look behind Conference Row, you'll be able to see North Korea's visitors welcome. Uh, what you're hearing actually is North Korea propaganda. It's coming from more. It's, Honestly, I can't give you a good estimate on where it is. All I know is it's much further north, as also you'll be able to hear it very clearly once we're at checkpoint three from the Kijang Dong. What was a yellow and black panel marker, but is now share a very deep rust color. This, this is the MBO within this area, where it actually follows the tree line to your front, then where it makes an abrupt left at a 90 degree angle passing through the Seishang River all the way through the Han Estuary. If you look to the hill to your right, it may be a little bit harder to see due to the, the mist out today, but on that hill is a J-shaped dirt road. That J-shaped dirt road is actually the northern portion of the DMZ where it stands 2,000 meters from where we are right now. If you look left of that, you'll be able to see this man 24 hours a day. And if you'll be able to look to your left, you can vaguely see the Gijong Dong or Propaganda Village. We actually know that most of the buildings, North Korean flag is flying so and so right now. That's because it needs a large gust of wind to fly for it has a dry weight of 600 pounds. So during wet increment weather, the flag actually has to be lowered to prevent it from tearing under its own weight. There's actually a historical company out there who would, I don't remember the name of it, but if you were able to get a one meter by one meter piece of the flag, they'll actually pay you a million dollars for it. So any of you guys feeling lucky? <laughs> Monument is 
Actual funny story about the bridge of no return. Former President Bill Clinton tried to become the second. So this is our meal. We have bulgogi and egg. And one thing says that the toast is nice. So you can see bullet holes on the train because the North Korean army attacked the train. So now we are on the Freedom Bridge. Walking up to the observation deck right now. military police but these soldiers are not real MPs you know so they're just acting as MPs you know because according to the armistice armistice agreement we signed at the end of the Korean War only police can stay around the border area so no combat soldiers can stay around the border area so that's why they are wearing the MP armband just to act as a MPs you know? but those are just regular soldiers regular combat soldiers so. Million landmines were scattered around the border area. Many of them are still active even today, killing both people and even what? Animals. Okay? Yeah, wildlife animals. Sometimes the wildlife animals in around around here, you know, just uh, set them off and get killed. You know? There's a man on the roof. <laughs> Oh, my God. 